Hi everybody, it's great to be with you again. And as you can see, I am with Lola Bricky, the Global Director of Nazarene Missions International. At the start of my new role as the Global Missions Director, I wanted to have a conversation with Lola and to share some of our heart together for missions across the world. Lola, welcome to this time together. Well, thank you. I appreciate the invitation to join you today. So Lola, can you share a little bit of your heart with me and some of the vision for what NMI does all across the world? Well, the heart of NMI, or Nazarene Missions International, I think it's best stated in our identity statement. And our identity statement says that NMI is the global missions advocate in every local church, nurturing a spirit of missions and mobilizing into action, impacting people around the world. Could you give a little more detail about what those words mean and how they impact what NMI does? In every local church, there is a local NMI president, and they are a member of their local church board. We work hand in hand with pastors to ensure that every person in every local church has a deep passion to share Jesus with others in our communities and around the world. This, this spirit of missions, it's so alive. It fuels all that we do. And in NMI, we will not stop until everyone, everywhere has heard the good news. Wow. So the heart of our statement, we're the advocate, we nurture, we mobilize, we impact. That's who NMI is. So Lola, I want us to work hand in hand together in partnership with how we do missions across the world. Of course, in the midst of all of this, the local church is the hero. And we want the local churches to be involved as possible. Tell us about how you see local church impacting missions and working with us. We actually mobilize by focusing on five key areas of impact. That's what we call them. Right. The first one, the priority one, is prayer for the lost. We encourage people to pray for all missions efforts of the Church of the Nazarene. And Jim, this means you as well. NMI is praying specifically for you. Is in, the second thing that we focus on is engaging children and youth to learn about and participate in the mission of God. We collaborate with NDI and NYI to ensure that all children and youth have a spirit of missions within them. The third area of impact for us is we provide care and connection to Nazarene missionaries. This is between missionaries and local churches of the Nazarene. The fourth thing that we participate in is giving to the World Evangelism Fund. We inform our churches of the world's needs and how the Church of the Nazarene, how we're responding through the World Evangelism Fund. And we encourage every church everywhere to participate in giving to that. And the last one is Alabaster. Churches lay the foundation through alabaster offering for places where people worship, heal, and learn. We encourage global participation each year. And every alabaster project, well, it's, it's a joint effort of local contribution and labor combined with global love and support and bringing a, a tangible presence and a long-term commitment to a community. And just kind of a sales pitch, no alabaster funds are used for administrative costs. You know, isn't that the amazing thing about alabaster that everything we give to alabaster, and I've seen this firsthand on my travels, goes straight to the projects and to the places and the people themselves. There's no middle people. There's no extra costs that, that are taken off. The money that you give, everything you give, Go straight to Alabasta. Isn't, isn't that incredible? It does. It does. We have so many stories of people faithfully giving to Alabaster. And while we're talking about Alabaster, we're in the midst of celebrating 75 years of Alabaster. And I've got to say, I've been overwhelmed at the response. Thank you just does not seem to adequately express the gratefulness I have for the sacrificial giving of Nazarenes everywhere. But thank you for giving. Listen to all of this is, is so exciting. And I think at the heart of this, of course, is, is the local church. And 
Um, I've been a local pastor, then I was the district superintendent. I've served as a field strategy coordinator, the regional director, now global missions director. Uh, all of these roles are amazing. And yet the whole thing is about the local church. Missions begins in a local church. That's where people are called to mission and called to ministry. And in the local church, we pray for missions. We give to missions. And from there, we go on mission. And then the end result of mission is the local church. We build, support and help local churches all over the world. And that is the wonder of the miracle that is the Church of the Nazarene globally. Tell us a little bit about your partnership and, and where you see the local church really helping uh, the missions of the Church of the Nazarene all across the world. Oh, we could not do what we do without the local church. Mm. Um, in fact, we exist because the local church exists. Right. Um, if we didn't have local churches, NMI would not look like we like we look. And I am we are so blessed to be part of what is called local church ministries. And local church ministries is NMI and NDI and NYI. And together in a local church and at the global level and on the district's level as well, we partner, we work together. And it's so fun what to talk to uh, you know, NYI leaders or NDI leaders, and they'll sometimes say, oh, I couldn't do what I do without NMI helping. Mm. And so we definitely partner together. And all that we are is local. We are the local church and we are the advocate for the local church and so blessed by it. And like you said, we all know Jesus because a local church shared Jesus with us. Lola, you, you used the word partnership there quite a number of times. It's a great word. And, and what I'd love to hear is how can you as global uh, NMI director and me as global missions director be part of this partnership and how can we visibly show the church that we really are working together with one heart and one vision? There's something unique about NMI. In NMI, we support those who are called to go and serve as missionaries and we are committed to that. But the other thing about NMI is that NMI provides a place of service for those who are called to stay and support missions through their local right. church. Well, that, that's just great. And that, that's just my heart as Global Missions Director. And I think it's really the spirit of what missions in the Church of Nazarene is all about. Well, thank you, Lola. This has been a wonderful conversation. I appreciate you giving me the time. I think what you've said has been inspiring and helpful and encouraging. And for all those who are watching right now, I hope you're really encouraged to see two global leaders who really are local people who love the church and who love the mission working together for the sake of the kingdom and to build the church, the Church of the Nazarene, all across the world. So thank you so much, Lola, for your time. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity to share with you today. Now, I just want to say at the end of this conversation, some information of news that's coming to you and it will come soon. And it's a partnership that Lola and I and others in the church are involved in. And that is that we're going to have a global day of prayer. If you are from Eurasia, you'll know all about our 24 hours of prayer called from the rising of the sun. Well, we're going to upscale that and we're going to have a global day where we all get together all across the world. And we're going to pray for revival renewal of the church and for God's spirit to move to the ends of the earth, uh, for people to know Jesus and for the church to be transformative in the nations and places God has called us to. But for now, thank you for all that you do to support us and encourage us and pray for us. Thanks for watching this and may the Lord bless you and may you know God's presence wherever you are today. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>